Hi, this is a video to illustrate the project employing the Typhoon Virtual Hill. I am the professor Felipe Bofolini Grigoletto, and together with the professor Mars Stefanello, we coordinate this project developed at the Electronic Systems Research Group, GIPCEL, from the Federal University of Pampa. The project is entitled Grid Connected Inverter with Virtual Synchronous Machine Concept. Uh, here we have the picture of the university campus. It's located at Alegrete City, south of Brazil. And below we see the laboratory of Gypsel and a teaching lab. In addition to the research activities developed by the research group, the Typhoon Hill will help the teaching activities in undergraduate courses as power electronics, control systems, electric machines, modulation of power converters, and power electronics applied to photovoltaic systems. Let's start the description of the project. The conventional electric power systems are constituted of large centralized generation units uh, which provide electric power to the consumers but now with the proliferation of distributed energy resources as photovoltaic and wind power systems we see a large number of power electronics converters connected to the grid some control strategies current applied for the control of a grid connected converter may not be appropriated if we consider several parallel connected converters because no power sharing nor self-synchronization is ensured in such strategies. It's necessary a PLL structure for the synchronization and group strategies to the power sharing. So the virtual synchronous machine emulation is a good option. By the diagram control, it can be emulated the behavior of a real synchronous machine. So we have the characteristics of self-synchronization and power sharing by emulating a virtual inertia. The controller of a synchronous machine has two channels, one for active power and the other for the reactive power. The active power is controlled by a frequency control loop using the mechanical friction coefficient as a feedback end. This loop regulates the speed of the synchronous machine and creates the phase angle for the control signal. The voltage E is the reference for the electronic power inverter. The reactive power loop regulates the field dissipation, which is proportional to the amplitude of the voltage generated. Moreover, a voltage control loop can be added to the reactive loop. Here we have the equations for the synchronous machine. Let's go to the simulation in the virtual hill. Here we have the grid connected inverter with an LCL filter. Here we have the active and reactive loops. Here we have the definition of the active and reactive power. The electromagnetic torque in this block. the trigonometric functions and the voltage references which goes to the inverter modulator. After compiling, let's go directly to the Hill SCADA.
here we see the grid currents and voltages and the PWM voltages generated by the inverter here the active and reactive power and the emulated speed here we see the inputs I will change the active power for a negative value let's change the time scale and put the trigger let's change the active power these parameters result in a good transient response for the active power now let's reduce the friction coefficient and repeat the active power step Now we see a oscillatory response. We can change the other parameters and a similar procedure can be employed with the reactive power. Well, this was a general description of the project. For more details please contact me. Thanks for your attention.